What is up, gamers? Um, today I am less tired, and over there is the old build of mine. This is the old build. Anyways, but today is gonna be a castle making series, and in this series, basically, we will be making um a medieval little village and also a medieval castle, and yeah. So um, today we are gonna be starting on showing how to build terrain for this medieval sort of village and yeah that's basically what we're going to be doing today so uh might as well get right into it i'm thinking what kind of terrain should we go for let's set it today real quick okay so basically um i'm gonna be showing you guys what i like to do for terrain and that sort of stuff I'm going to be showing trees, and yeah. So basically, I'm going to make a quick small mountain first. Just show you guys how terrain basically works. And how you want to create nice terrain that looks appealing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create kind of a demo, if that makes sense. And if you want, you could add in colors or create your own custom sort of thing. But what I like to do is if I have any, if I take some andesite, this is just for path making. What I like to do is I like to take andesite, polished andesite, um, also gravel and stone, and make a nice little path. This is more of like a in-town path. There's other styles of paths for like in and out of town that I like to go for as well. But this is more of an in town sort of feel and vibe to it. Um, if I add this, I'm going to show you how to make a basic path. So the way I like to do it is it's not just randomly placed blocks. No, I like to clump certain blocks in like groups of three like this or clump them in groups of two groups of two, groups of three, you like to clump it randomly in groups because it makes it look nice, it makes it look even and it kind of brings a nice sort of vibe to it. Okay, so that's basically how we're going to be doing the path for this um, village. We're going to build three houses in this and we're going to build a castle somewhere else. So basically I'm going to build this up to about there. You're going to want to add some depth into this. Not too much, just a little bit on each side. And the best way to make these sort of mountains and stuff is very, it's a very nice technique. Basically, you don't just do this, right? Instead of just having a straight line like this, you know, because it doesn't look the best. You randomly just two, and then you do a couple like that, then two, and a little bit like that. And my advice is when you're building terrain, um, the main thing that you gotta realize is that terrain does have flat points, but not that often. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to leave that like that. Add in a little bit of depth right there, not too much. But remember, this is just a sort of Viking, not Viking, sorry, medieval sort of style. And we're going to need a little bit of flatland over here because we're going to put a house right here. And the style I'm going to show you is a nice and easy replicant sort of style but as soon as I get this in it's pretty simple it's efficient and it looks nice so the first thing that you gotta realize is that um, lots of colors that were pretty dominant were uh, in old modern well not old modern sorry in old medieval styles if I show you here, we go slash clear, we 
go like this, all right? Uh, we're gonna take some, sp not spruce, sorry, oak logs. Okay, we need oak logs, strip planks. We're also gonna need wool. We're also gonna need um, spruce planks. Actually, we could do a nice spruce floor. Let's do a nice spruce floor. And of course, we will use the spruce door. So the main thing that you want to note. Oh, we're also gonna need stone bricks. Not infested with plane. The stone infested looks terrible. So I like to go in groups of three or four, or so three or five. See how this is one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we'll do a seven here, just so it's bigger. And then what we'll do is because um, this part right here is going to be the base. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Three, one, two, we go boom, 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 and then we build this all the way back to here. Basically, we build that, such as that, and this will be a nice little base. And what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of texture in it. A little bit of texture here and there. Grab a slab. Also grab a sign. And little bits of texture can really take it a long way. No, wrong thing. There we go. So a little bit of texturing going on here. And for this we're just gonna have that. And that is gonna be the stairway into this lovely little place. And what I will do I'll add some signs to that corner, that corner, this corner, this corner, that corner, that corner. And this corner, this corner. So, grab yourself a trapdoor to place a sign. Trapdoors look really nice. And you bring this up. Bring it up four because we want a three tall ceiling. Bring it down like that. And the next thing we need is get rid of this for now. Because we're going to need some stairs. Um, for this build, I'm going to be using. Let's choose just plain oak. Oak will look nice. What I like to do is I like to kind of mix it in a little bit. Add a little feature like that. And then we got our front door and then over here this is just an extension out so we're going to just add a little tiny thing like that and then same with this side we're going to add that like that basically what I'm trying to do right here is I'm trying to make it a nice sort of house design which is expandable because you can actually expand this and make it bigger um, we're going to add some more windows over here. And what I'm going to do, go boom. Oh, sorry. sorry about that. Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to go from the top. And go boom, 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 boom. I'm going to add in a little bit of glass to that. And it really brings the house together. This is the first part of the steps. And we're also going to need a different color of stair, spruce, to go on the top here, on all these corners. That's for the second layer. So it will look like that. 
and we will need one there and one there and now let's bring this back and let's add in the little bit here and again we not like to follow the same sort of pattern so it keeps consistency what I will do called Hagen frame. Add a item frame to the side just to give a little bit of depth. Just like that. What we're going to do next is we're going to finish off this area want to connect the post so it's similar any post over there nope let's set it to day no day real quick boom 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 add the window in there what I want to do next is I want to add a little bit here. And then get rid of that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now that we got almost all of it done, if you want, you could add a back porch. It really doesn't matter too much, but I'm not going to add one. So I might add something else. But this wall, I'm going to keep a whole wall and then we're going to go a little there, a little there and that's basically the first layer done we're going to build a second layer after this and there we go, okay so the second layer, we're going to use wool. I accidentally created my inventory. I'm thinking... Yeah, exactly like that. So the wool will go on like this, which will create a nice little lovely sort of feel like that. There we go. I'm going to put that there, connect that up. I'm going to connect this, get rid of that. Put in stairs like this. And this is just for depth. So then after that, we add in this little aspect of it, add in this. Put in that. Add the windows in. Got that little part done. We're getting closer to being done now. And re remember, I'm just gonna build this house actually. I don't think I'm gonna build anything else besides this house because I'm going to be working on this project later and basically guys this is going to be a new series so I messed up got to add in these so it's coming along 
the main thing about it is you want um, a little bit of technique, a little bit of order. You don't want too much repetitiveness, but just enough, just enough. Not too much, but just enough. Um, if you want it to be kind of nice, you can add in a chimney as well. But I'm not going to do that right now. But I will put that in. Put two more windows in. Add in a little bit here and there. And that is basically that layer done. So now we get rid of this. And we want stairs. We want stone bricks. Slabs. And we're going to be going with like that. And I think, I don't know, should I make this look older? It might as well, might as well. So what we want to do, we want to create this sort of slope like this. Create lots of slopes before. better. We'll go from the other side. Create it like that. Oh, I messed up. We want to create like a little sloop, a slope to slope. This is kind of just like a build with me sort of thing. You're kind of just building little eye builds too. It's not really like a. This is pre planned. And this side. This would be too big of a thing. But we will have a tiny window. Or actually, you know what we'll do? That's better. That's a better idea. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, time to build this part here. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm slowly making it point up and up and up. Um, that and we'll finish it off here so that's going to connect to that and then over here we're going to connect this to that this to there add in this sort of thing um, at this point what we're basically doing is we're just adding in the roof and the roof has this sort of curvature that you want to make it go with if that makes sense not really curvature but like a circle kind of thing actually this is more like um yeah a thing from pre-calculus I'm just trying to remember what it's called So it's going to look like that. With the roof kind of shaped in, it's going to look really nice. Uh, I'll do the inside, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far I get. If I get to the inside, I'll do the inside. But if I don't, I won't. Sorry. Um, add in this. 
this part. Basically, I'm just putting in the roof. We're going to make it a newer roof. I'm going to put in little windows in my bed. You'll see what I mean. And you don't have to put slabs here. I'm just doing this because I don't feel like going into the inventory right now. Probably save me a little bit of time, but... Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, yeah, that saved me a bit of time. But basically, I'm going to put little windows here. One right here. side too. And let's put one more in. Add in that little bit, that little bit. Basically this is for more texture, more design, and it kind of looks cool. It'll look nice once it's all done. So the next thing I'm going to do real quick is I will just fill this all in, add in some little attachments, just little minor details just to keep it all nice and consistent. That looks like that. Everything matches up all nice. Nice and clean. I like it to be very an organized pattern, if it's going to be a pattern. Um, sometimes complete chaos looks nice, but this time it won't because this is a medieval build. But yes. I think I messed up on there. There we go. And the thing is, is that you want a little bit of slope to it. You want to go fast at first. Let's do that. that so that will be the roof and if you want to make it look older you can but I want my until it newer so I'm not gonna make it look older but you can if you want it's, it's really up to choice and I can always show you if you want it to look older or not but I prefer it to look newer because it gives it more of a real vibe of how it would have been because it, not all like medieval houses are completely destroyed, you know what I mean? Like, because back in their time they were freshly made sometimes. So I just feel like it's not actually being real if it's not actually what it is. But I don't know. That's just me. We're not gonna put those little windows on this side. But on this side, what we will put is we will also put the chimney. Okay, and we will have to attach another part to there. But now we don't have to add any more onto that side. Just have to connect that. And we just have to connect this. And just fix this up. And there we go, we got the roof done. Um, if you want to go for a more fancier sort of style, you can always add in a little bit of that, which I will be doing. 
just adds a little flair to it. Kind of like that. And then it has a little bit of that to it. And yeah, so let's set it to day again. And let's finish this lovely little place off. So for this part up here, it's a little bit off because you don't have to match up with this side. Because this side, perfect. This side's a little off. So what we're going to do with this side. So we're just going to extend this like that. Put that like that. And we're going to grab some stairs. Let them go like this real quick. Real quick. Add a little balcony. Add in some wool. And get room for a little door. Just so that it's not too chaotic. The balcony will look like that. What we're going to do next, add in that. Put Actually, we're going to put there, there, and there. So we got a little balcony on it too now. Okay, so the next part is just filling in the rest. Get out of the goddamn way. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add in this. Add in this. Go boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Add window there, window there, window there. Block underneath there. And a block underneath there. Block there. I'm also going to add another window here. This one was just going to be the whole part there. Okay, so the next part, probably shouldn't have done that originally, but it doesn't take too long to fix. We got this nice little inside area. Now it's time to fill it in with some flooring. So let's go slash clear. And we're going to need spruce. And we're going to need spruce that. Um, so I'm guessing for the flooring, I want to go for like a zigzag sort of pattern. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, like this. This is what we're going to go for. Or actually... That might look good. Yeah, this is what we're going to go for. Okay, this is kind of a modern sort of floor but I'm fine with it and I'm sure you guys are also fine with it this is just to separate the sections so those are to separate the two sections so this section boom boom Boom, 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 boom. And for 
this section. I'm just going to go like this. Add in the last little bit of detail. Okay. So the next step is just doing the floor above. And basically, I'm just going to be adding in small little details, fixing this up. I'm not going to be doing too much decoration inside, just because it's just not my sort of thing right now. But if you do want more decoration, just comment down below. I can do decoration too. I can really do anything. But yes. My computer which is nice okay there we go let's grab some stairs okay and let's grab some trap doors this style of trap door and right here Okay, this is looking pretty nice. I'm almost done. And let's grab a lantern real quick here. And let's grab a lantern and another lantern. And another lantern. But yes. That is the stairway upstairs. Now that we're upstairs, for this part, I'm going to grab some slabs. I'm going to build that, and up there is going to be the bedroom. Grab some trap doors and we'll just grab a ladder. And Grab a bed real quick. I'm gonna put a bed right there, and there we go. Now it is decorating time. I'm not gonna do too in depth. I can do more in depth than what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna do basically what you could pass. Just give you a couple of ideas of what you could potentially do with this. Oh, messed up there. Okay, so what I like to use a lot is I like to use barrels. Now let's grab some slabs. Always grab spruce. Grab some stairs. Actually, no, it's not stairs. A trap door. Uh, let's grab some leaves. Trap door again. Stupid me. And this is basically just for some decoration. What I like to do is I like to have some of that like this. Oh, still haven't figured out how to change that back, but that's fine. Um, let's go like that. That add in a little bit more. I really love using barrels in this way. 
It looks really nice in older style or any sort of style. Um, the next thing I want to do is boom, 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 and grab a fence. And we're going to go boom, boom. I'm going to add in a little stair there. And also a little stair. Oh, wrong way. On this side. And a little thing like that. And that is a little sort of cute thing. <laughs> um, I think I actually just go like that. And we will also add in another lamp right there. And let's add in some more barrels. Because barrels always make things look better, in my opinion. There we go. And also the barrel in the back you don't have to add. I just don't want any mobs spawning in, so I just added it. So this is just gonna be like a kinda like a little living dining room. Um gonna add in that that. I'm just gonna put some leaves here. And that is that level done. Nice open. Uh, down here we're gonna grab a furnace. Uh, we're gonna place two furnaces there. We're gonna add in a little bit of that. Carpet. I just like adding these little barrel sort of clumps everywhere. It looks kind of nice. And then right here, get out of here. Get out of here. Add in that. And a trip wire hook. Right here. And there you go. And up here, we're just going to add some simple things. Slab again. And a little bit of leaf growth. Add a door. A door. Added this door right here. And a lantern. Uh, where can we add this right here? And there we go. That is all of the house done, and yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and this actually will look pretty epic with shaders. I get terrible frames, so I can only really take pictures, so you know, I'll just show you guys anyways. If we turn on shaders, I get like 7 FPS. It's terrible, but I can get good pictures from it, which is nice. Oh, God.
Okay, let's go take a quick look. Oh, that is way too glitchy. Let's just turn up the video settings. Let's go to one, just for the photo. It is really laggy. Sorry that you guys have to see this, but... This is basically what it looks like. This is... the house. Oh god, the lag. Oh, yikes. This is the downstairs. This is super laggy. The upstairs. Extremely laggy. And the bedroom. Anyways, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and yeah, comment what I should build next. I am done, because this is going to be a long video.